my lighting and all of my stuff so it looks good for you guys if you are here. Just give me a second. We're gonna come in a little bit more. Right there. How's that look? Good. And then I will come down. Hello, hello. I don't know how we all see comments. That's the only thing. Let me see. Because Stanley helped me with the comments last time. Um. Mm -hmm. so, there we go. YouTube giving me trouble. I'm um, actually, <laughs> if you guys can see out the back of my window, you can see little remnants back there. Um, I live on a mountain and we had lots of snow. So it took us a little longer to get up. <laughs> so that is why we were a little bit behind. All right. So I'm gonna give everyone a minute to get on because I am a little bit late. I did make a couple posts, but I don't know. So I'll give everyone a second. This is my mom, if you don't know. Hi guys. She is always commenting on all my videos. She doesn't wear wigs at all, but she knows a lot about them because she watches all my videos. Hi, Janet. Hi, Sharon. If you guys also could do me a huge favor, because I can't do it while I'm on my phone, and I do not have Stanley here to help me, if you guys could share the live, I would appreciate that greatly. You can share it on Facebook. If someone's in the Buy, Sell, Trade group on Facebook, if you could share it there for me, I'd appreciate it. Hi, Christina. Hello, hello. Oh, I should put my phone in. Do not disturb. <laughs> yeah, so you guys, I left the window open so you guys could see. I don't know how much of it you can see, but there is a lot of snow out there. Hi, Ange. Hi, Rachel. Hello, hello. Yeah. So I'm going to give everyone maybe like two or three minutes, and then we're going to start. Uh, my mom's already been like pre-picking out wigs over here. <laughs> oh, so she's like, so what are we doing? I was like, pick out the wigs that you like, and I'm going to put them on my head. She's like, okay. <laughs> Hi Raven, hello, hello. Um, if you guys are just joining, like I said, if you guys could share the live, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I know some of you guys were thrown off because I, I'm 30 minutes late, but it's what happens. Thank you, Heather, I appreciate it, I appreciate it. Okay, I can see comments, so that's good. Yep. Um, second thing, let me know if the internet starts getting crazy. I have mountain internet as well. So I might have to kick my kid and my brother off if it gets bad, but we should be okay. Hi, Christina. Hi there, sorry. You're not late, Lucky. I'm late. Yep. So you're right on, on time. time. Perfect, perfect timing. Plus, I always feel like everyone always it takes everyone a little while to get on anyway. So this way, we're all gonna get on at the same time. Also, just um side note, I don't know if you guys wear the um elastic like silicone grips, but I have a hard time with them because the ones I bought like on Amazon, they're thicker and they're super tight on my head, like they give me a headache. I got this one off of Temu because I was trying it out because it I didn't know if it was like a real thing or a scam. So I bought a couple like dollar items before I buy some wigs from them. And I got this one and this one is like insanely stretchy and it still works really well. So I'm obsessed with it because I don't get a headache anymore. So side note, and it was like a dollar and six cents, I think. Good deal. And I got it in like a week. So I'll try to find the link and I'll put it down for you guys when we're done here so it's there for anybody who wants it because I get headaches like it's just and I have a small head and they give me headaches so mm -hmm. this one is like it reminds me of like what is it stretch Armstrong or something <laughs> like <"Whoa!"> it's really <laughs> stretchy <laughs> but it works perfectly so shared thank you thank you all right hi Marie hello hello okay all right so I guess we get thrown away because I'm bald right now and this is a wig channel so maybe I should put a wig on my all head right, wig number one <gasps> All right, hand me a wig, Mom. Also, if you guys have any um, wigs, like any colors or styles or anything you guys want to see, um, I can also, we can pull stuff from here too. So like if you want like a brunette long curly or blonde, you know, medium curly or blonde medium straight or bangs or whatever, if I have something similar to that, I can definitely show that to you as well. I do temple hauls. Oh, you do? Yeah. So I just, I know it's new and it's very much like AliExpress and Wish and all of those things. That's what it reminds me of. But the shipping was actually a lot faster. Okay, so I chose this one because when I saw you, I think this is the one you look like Christina Aguilera. Oh, yes. I like this one. It's a lot of hair. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. And I have it in a different color, too. That green one right there is the same wig, just a different color. Hi, Kristen. I also don't have Stanley with me tonight. And he's usually great about being on the computer and, like, talking to you guys. What's so us? And I suck at comments. So forgive me. I'll do my best. I and promise. I can't see them. So oh. <laughs> Gonna bust out the glasses. No. No. Okay. Yeah, I love this one. So it's a very, very light, like pink. 
Christina Aguilera. Yeah, it's very much. Song. Christina. I think I commented on that. Christina. Yeah, and the roots. So this is, um, it's a wig brand. And if you guys look at like these roots and everything, I'm going to get up close so you can see. They're invisible knots. Yeah. <laughs> they are um, in, invisible knots. And then it also looks like it's a lot of hair and a lot of volume, but it's super lightweight because it's tapered so much. And it's really light towards the ends. And this tapering also helps it from tangling. So you get all that volume up here that you want, but not all the way to the end. Hi, Jenny. So, hi, Kristen. Hello, hello. Okay, I think I said hi to everyone. Yes, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying. But yeah, so this one is really, really cute. And it's really lightweight. So if you want something that gives you that diva moment hair, the Christina hair, but you don't want all of the weight and the density, this is a great, great choice. Um, she is a T part, but because of her length, you can shift it from side to side. So it can be a side part if you want it to be, um, open wefted and she is small head friendly. Um, I do. <laughs> I like to let you guys know that, um, small head friendly. I want some diva hair. All right, Stanley. Okay. <laughs> Just come up here. I know you put wigs on when I'm sleeping. Thank Stanley you know. is in fact here. Yes, Kristen, he is here. <laughs> He's actually at rehearsal with my son because my son's in a play. So he, we divided and conquered. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this is a open watch, but it is small head friendly. I do have to go, you know, all the way here for it. And I do run petite. I'm like right on the line of petite and regular, but it will fit you if you have a larger head too, because it does have the open wefting. So it's going to have a nice stretch on it. Oh no, she figured it out. I know, I know, I know, I know. You're up here putting on makeup and putting on wigs <laughs> when I'm sleeping. <laughs> so I don't see it. Um, also, too, just really quickly, that pink one, I believe, is sold out with small heads. Thank you. You're welcome, Kristen. <laughs> um, I want to show you guys this other color, um, same style. It is this gorgeous, like, evergreen, like, super dark green, and then it has this really pretty kind of green rooting. So I just want to show you guys this one, too, because this one is currently in stock, and the other one is not. But it's still going to be that same style, length. Super cute. I love this one. Too. I, I wore this one. I wore this one in a photo shoot. The photo shoot Stanley and I did. Actually, very pretty. Put it back. Okay. Uh, this one's a lot of wig, too. Whoa, a lot of wig. A lot of wig. Mom wig. likes the ones with a lot of wig. Now, to be fair, she has a lot of them that are like this. <laughs> I was trying to pick out some different ones I liked. Just some maybe different colors. I have a type, clearly. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I like to throw put on my hair and just be like, boom. <laughs> like, that's just. She's I want lot. it to She's be a lot. a lot. A lot. To suit it works for you though. Me, yes. I love this one. This one is a right side part. Are beautiful. Yeah, this one. I have this one in like a straight version, but I can't find it anywhere. It's missing. Um, and it's one of my favorites. And then I was like, I need it curly. Uh, lyrical uh, wig sister of mine. She also has it, but she put bangs in it. This one here, and I love it. But I'm scared I'm gonna mess it up. So I feel like I need to get another one to put bangs in it. Any new wigs from Nels? I don't have any new ones. I have Lyrical I can show you, which I've heard she is restocking tomorrow. So I can show you that one for sure, because she will be back tomorrow. Um, that's what tracking says. I like chill wigs. 130 is my safe place. <laughs> yeah, this one is um, 140. So she's a little bit more um, dense, but she still is. I mean, I feel like I, I did it backwards. When I started wearing wigs, I started out wearing 150 density because no one told me. And I was like, oh my God, this is way too much hair. It made me feel like my hair was so much worse than it actually was because I was like, is everyone's hair supposed to be like this? I was like, this is really bad. And no one told me that I should start the other way. So I started wearing 130s and then I slowly worked up to like 140s and they didn't feel as heavy to me because I got used to the 130s. But 150 is still too much hair for me. I put it on and I'm like, whoa, that is a wig on my head. Um, what was the wig you were wearing in the community post? So beautiful on you. That one is from Rebel Gypsy. I'll put that one's hanging up over there. I'll put it back on for you guys. Um, it is, God, I cannot remember her name. Ange would know because I actually got it from her. We did a little tradey trade and I traded her a wig that I had and she traded me a wig that she had because that's how we do it. Okay. Let me see lyrical. Tell me if I need it. Oh, Kristen, you totally need her. She's so good. She's so good. Okay, another one. What are you giving me? That one. Okay. So we get a bang oh. on in there. No. 
Yeah, that's fine. This one's just discontinued. Oh, well, that's why you didn't tell me. So that. maybe we won't show that one. All right, I'm on. I just realized that. Sorry. Just kidding. We're you can't. Show you just kidding. You can't Pretend like it's not there. Hi, Molly. Molly's here. Molly, Molly? Yeah, Molly, Molly. Hi, Molly. <laughs> Molly, Molly. Molly, Molly? No, Molly? the fake Molly, Molly, not the real Molly. Okay, this one's Give me that bang one. Okay. Another bang on. Let's try to pick a bang one. This one is uh, Bobby Boswick. I love. Uh, what are you saying? Oh God! Don't do this to me. <laughs> I have Bone Crusher and Misfits from Rebel. Very nice wigs. Yes, they are really nice. Uh oh, I feel another PayPal payment coming on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry, Kristen. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right, this one here is Bobby Boss. Um, this one is going to be a bang wig. Um, something about this to be noted to you guys. If you wear bang wigs, you're gonna really appreciate this. But if you don't, you might not know. Most of the time, bangwigs don't have combs in them. For whatever reason, they've decided if you wear a bangwig, you don't need combs. Why? I have no idea. So usually add them in. But this one actually has the combs. It's got a nice big one here in the back. And then it has this awesome, huge one right That's in the large. front, which is awesome because it's, you still need it. If you don't like have a hook, it's not, how's it holding on to your head? The bangs aren't going to hold it on. So this one is really nice. Bobby Boss did a good job with their bangs by putting stuff like that in there because it just doesn't make sense to not be there at all. So this is a black, just really- Like a blue black. Blue, blue. oh, is it really? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's a real dark black. That's cool, nice. I like that. I think it's a, a 1B, so it's like one level up from black. And then I also have it in black too, but I don't know where the heck it is. Why does this thing hate me? Ah uh, ha ha, so funny, peachy, lol. <laughs> um, but this one here is super lightweight. If you are a beginner wig wearer, this is a great wig for you to start out with. It comes in blondes, browns, a lot of different colors. I have, this is from, I got this one from Waba. It's under 25 bucks and bangs are a lot easier. It's lightweight too. I saw you were selling some wigs. Um, I have some pictures posted on my personal Facebook page. Um, if you um, want to go over and look on there and every once in a while, if I have something I'm getting rid of. I'll post it on my Instagram stories too. Is one be the same as darkest brown? It's like one level darker, I think. It's like right in between. If you look at this wig on Waba, they have like black, one B, and then they have the brown, like the really dark brown. So it's actually like one shade in between. But yeah, okay, so what's next? All right. This is also Bobby Boss wig. Um, I'm really into Bobby Boss uh, wigs lately. I Love how affordable they are. You rock those bangs, thank you. Um, I love how affordable they are. You can get a really nice wig for under 50 bucks, which I think is awesome, especially if you're like me. She's got a problem. And you have a problem. Or if you're trying out wigs, it's like you don't wanna drop 100 plus dollars on a wig and then be like, oh crap, I don't like this wig. So at least this way you can get like a 20, $30 wig. And if you don't like it, you could always sell it, you could always trade it, it's really easy to do that versus getting saddled with like a hundred plus dollar wig that you don't really like. So I'm a big, big believer in affordability, especially when you're starting out. You can always like, if you like, if I absolutely was obsessed with this wig, I'm like, oh my God, I love this wig. I can now go and look for it in like maybe a different version. Like the fibers might be better, human hair, blend, something like that, more lace space. But I know that I like the color and the style on me and it only cost me $40. And then I could get something nicer. How many, oh no, <laughs> how many are you at? No, I haven't counted, Kristen. Don't count, mom. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. We, we went, we did this, we did this on Facebook and I was, I only had 99, which was like the lowest I think I've ever had, but that was, that was a little while ago and I've got some more since then. So. Let's switch up to some short ones. Okay. Um, how, let's see. Oh, what group is doing trades? Um, I'm actually, I uh, help admin a uh, buy, sell, trade group over on Facebook, but it is right now private because um, we're just trying to keep, there's a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of little scammers out there this time of year with tax season upon us. And uh, we had some issues, so we've um, we shut it down so all people that are in there are safe. Uh, but if you do want to join, um, you could always message me on Facebook and then I could always send you the link because I can still invite people, but you have to be invited. Cause we were just getting a lot of, we were getting popular, which is a good thing. But it was getting a little crazy. 
Mom was about to go count for us. No, yeah, she was. was she was, was still totally going to start counting. It. it wasn't that many. No. She totally wasn't do it. I have them separated. What do you mean it wasn't that many? I have them separated right here. No, they want to know how many wigs oh I have. Oh my gosh! Total. No, no, I don't have that much time. <gasps> no, no. They're everywhere. They're all they're around. They're everywhere, guys. Um, so this is this is also Bobby. This is also Bobby Boss wig, I believe. I swear, Mama, I don't know. Mama I is know. absolutely beautiful. I don't know. Oh, thank you. Yeah, she's she's pretty pretty. Got it. I will message you. Yeah, just message me and then I can send you the link. I just we're just trying to make sure that real people and legit people are joining the group and not people who want to take people's money and not send them links because that's not cool. We don't do that here. <laughs> so this is a super cute um, pixie cut and it's two tones, so it's gonna have the color on the top and then it has this one has black and then I do have it in like all the colors they make it in. She does. Because, uh, again, got a problem, guys. She does. Um, so they're making, like, green, orange, pink. And I love this one. Yeah, Stanley likes this one, too. Um, this one is super, super cute. Super lightweight. And I think it's under 20 bucks. This is, like, $18. Um, and it is also, it's also a Bobby Boss wig. I have a Bobby Boss problem now. All right, See? one more short one. Okay, one more short one. Which one? This one? What about this blonde one? Oh. No? Sure. I mean, I'll show it. It's Why? for sale. I like that one. So this is a Tress Allure wig. I'm actually, um, I'm actually selling this one because it's just not my style. It, I think it ages, uh -huh. I think it ages me a little bit. But oh, this, oh, I didn't see that but the flip, it. this flip and this shag is super in right now. Like it's that '90s like shag flip hair. Um, it just, I think it makes me look older, and I'm not a fan of that. I don't need <laughs> help in that department. Uh, Stanley, you should wear that, that one. Oh, <laughs> I have like five in the mail. <laughs> Kristen. Kristen! Five! Oh, Stanley? Yeah, he would definitely rock that wig. Um, so these, this is a Tress Allure wig. Um, so it's a little bit of a higher end wig. Um, I love these ones because instead of the little hooks, it actually has Velcro. So it has a little bit more of like, you can fit it to your head a lot better because you don't have to rely on, kit to, will it fit in this loop? If not, you have to go to the next loop. Sometimes you need it in between the loop. So this is much, much better. Um, and this is going to be open wefted. These are, this is a throw on. So no lace. Give me a second. I gotta fix it. So it can be moved anywhere. It um, has some permatizing up here so you can really kind of go crazy. crazy with it. And depending on what you do, you can make it look like completely different. I do like wigs that you can do that with. I just, this, if I was going to keep it, I would probably straighten it. And then I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose. So uh, it is cute, but um, it's just not my style. So this is one of the ones that I am selling out of my personal stash because I let someone else love her more than I probably will. Yeah, that's fine. Um, this is another Tress Allure one. If you guys watch my sh sh bleh, my shorts, <laughs> if you guys watch, say. yeah, I think it is like pinup style. Yeah. Exactly. Stanley, you like it? Great. You can have it, Stanley. You want to buy it from me? <laughs> um, so this is also a Tress Allure wig. Uh, if you watch, like I said, if you watch my shorts, um, I did uh, tone this wig and I rooted it. So this originally came, it was just a very kind of basic kind of 613 like yellowy blonde. And it has really nice tonality to it. So I was like, you know what? I want to tone it a little bit so that it's not so, so yellow. And then I also added a root to it. Um, it does have, this is also one of those hard lace, Stanley, I like, it. he's like, mm, I don't know, he doesn't want to buy it, okay, fine, 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 we could trade, maybe we could trade, you got a wig that, that I like, I'll trade with you. <laughs> this one is a hard lace wig, so it comes already ready to go, try that flippy one on also. Stanley's going to have to do his own wig show of just your guys' requests for Stanley. You should do it. Right. <laughs> So this one also has that Velcro in the back. See, like, this is what I'm saying. Like, I like this because I can overlap it if I want to, which is nice. Especially if you have a small head, you can come all the way around, which I love. It is open, wefted as well. And then it has all this lace space, which I like. Because you can move it all over. I had the visor. Oh, yeah, the visor wig. Yeah, that's the wig you have. Oh, my God. You guys need to see him in this wig. It is freaking hilarious. <laughs> I have pictures that might need to be leaked or something. He's all the nice length, too. Yeah, this one kind of cool. reminds me of like your hair, if it was straight. Much longer. Well, your hair's gotten <laughs> super long since the last time I saw you too. 
So this one, like I said, you can part wherever you want. And I did like add a root to it. It doesn't come with a root if you do get it um, yourself, but it's really just nice and lightweight and super easy to throw on. And the hairline, as you guys can see, let me pull it back where it's supposed to be, is like amazing. Amazing. Oh, it's getting hot up here. It is a little sweaty. Um, yeah, the visor wig. I have it right here. I was oh like, Mom, should gosh, I start the, yeah. the live with the visor wig on? She's like, no. Of course <laughs> she could not. It looks so crazy. <laughs> but it looks good. Uh, well, let's not use the word good, but it looks interesting on Stanley. No, no, that one's that mm -hmm. one stays. Um, what else you got, Mom? Hot. They're, well, they're... Oh, give me put this one on. This is the one I was wearing in, like, the post and yeah. everything that you guys wanted to see. Um... And this is a Rebel Gypsy wig, yes, I believe so. And this one's cool because it's like, colors are like block colors and like weird cool colors are in. It's nice though. And this one has like, it's really cool because depending on where you part it, the wig looks totally different. So, oh, give me a second. Um, if you like part it off to the side, you see a little bit more of this in the front. If you part it in the middle, you get a little bit more like money piece type situation happening instead. And it's just a little bit more like almost like a split dyed, which is kind of cool. So depending on where you really move it, it looks completely different. Yeah, it's so pretty. I love it. I love this one. This one's good. This is a good trade. Good trade. And it's really cool in the back too. I just think it looks super cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I'm wearing it all day. I mm -hmm. like it. Matching my outfit. Oh, my earrings are getting stuck. Um, I like that one. Hi, sorry I'm late. See my post later. You'll understand. This wig is gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. Who is it? Ugh, I cannot remember her name. I'm gonna have to look it up when I get off. Or, um, that one I got from Rebel Gypsy. Um, or if Kristen wants to message Ange, because I don't think Ange is on here. You could ask her. I don't remember her name at all. Um, I also do have a code for Rebel Gypsy if you want to use it. Um, I'll put it in the description afterwards for you guys and you get 15% off so if you guys want to buy anything from them you can use that code I also have a code for WABA that gets you 20% off that one's going to be JM Simons J-M-S-I-M-O-N-S -S. um and that one will get you 20% off so a strange thank you Kelly perfect oh, good don't worry about it Kristen Kelly already knew You've been eyeing that one? <laughs> She's on your list. A strange. That is her name. Um, this is another Wabo wig. This one I haven't even cut the lace on yet. Um, this is a... I always mess up the side parts. This is a right side part. I'm a middle part person if you don't know that about me. So I always have trouble when I first put the side parts on because I want them to be in the middle for some reason. <laughs> this is a really pretty, pretty light pink I really love the color of this one. It's super lightweight, super sleek, and it almost has, if you can see, it's almost like a, has like a pinkish tone to the, like a, almost like eggplanty. Is that a good way to describe it? Or purpley? It has like yes. a burgundy kind of purpley brown. Not, not eggplant. Not eggplant, I guess, no. but it has like a, it almost has like this kind of tone to the rooting. And then I love that it has it come up into the root too. I always think that just kind of makes it all pieced together. It, and like I said too, it is going to be right side part, open left in. It's a Bobby Potts wig. I remember it because you called it a chameleon. Yes, you are right. I did. Um, oh my gosh, pink. Who is that? Yeah, this is a Bobby Boss wig from Wawa. Wow, I got long nails finally and you have none. I know, don't look at my fingers. <laughs> I gotta put nails on, but I got, I was trying to decide if I wanted to tan or not. And I was like, I'm not gonna put nails on until I decide if I'm gonna tan, but I'm not gonna tan. So I'm going to put my nails on because I feel crazy. <laughs> uh, but good for you, Raven. I'll have nails on tomorrow. Okay, remember seeing that one? I need to get it. Yes. Yeah, you do, Kristen. Just do it. That one, yeah, she needs to get that one. Um, this is another one from Wawa. This is a newer one that they have. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. The picture online of this wig looks platinum. And it is definitely not platinum. Kelly said hi to you, Mom. Hey. Um, she was very impressed with your scarf, by the way. And it's amazing. And it's like the best, thickest scarf I think I own. Um, oh, get it, Mama. 
<laughs> this one here. So like I said, if you go to look at this one, you're going to look at it and think it's platinum lawn and it's not. I got it in and I was like, I even messaged him. I was like, hey guys, just curious. Should I get the wrong one? But no, it's just that the stock photos from, um, what is this? It's a wig. It's just it, the lighting. It looks so much more platinum than it is. So I'm actually going to use this wig in a video to show you guys how to tone her. I think she will be absolutely amazing. She is a human hair blend, so she feels so good. She is going to tangle very little. She's going to be more nice. like, you can see I'm running my hands through it. It's much easier to run my hands through it. Um, so it's just going to be less tangly. And it's a really, really nice um, closed lefted cap and everything like that. And it is really pretty. I just, I want to get some of that kind of warm yellowy tone out of it. And then I think I'll probably be in love. So, and it's really nice and lightweight, even though it's nice and long. So you get like that length, but you don't have to worry about the heaviness of the length. So that's why the lace is still attached because I have not done what I wanted to do with it yet. Oh yeah, I found. All right. This one is from Main Concept, which is also, I got this wig from Waba. Um, the brand is called Main Concept. It's super pretty. This one is gonna... Um, have a little bit more of like that yakky texture which is what gives it that nice kind of bounce with the curls and gives it that volume without having to have all that weight it is a middle part and it has baby hairs and i really like this one because it has like oh, they're like peekaboo money pieces is what i'm gonna call it so you have like all of this here with the color but then they also brought it down here so if you still like bring half of this back you still get some of that color in the front. And I just think it makes it all more cohesive. When I've been toning lately, I feel like it works better if you don't rinse the purple out. I just squish the wig in a towel and let it dry. You don't have any issue with transfer, like afterwards. That's the only problem I would have is just because the um, hair doesn't actually absorb it. It just like kind of holds on to stuff. So I notice it kind of like drips that color. But if you're not having issues with transfer, that's awesome. Um, maybe I'll try it. I'll give it a shot. See how it goes. But I just always have issues when I use any of that root dye and stuff with just like transferring if I don't rinse it really well. So give it a shot. Maybe the alcohol helps. There's only one like on this video, ladies. Oh, guys, it's, a, it's okay, but make sure you share it for me. Um, and if you're watching it, um, comment replay. Let me know what you guys like. Because I know a lot of you guys will look at this afterwards too. You were gorgeous in that one. Thank you. I'm actually selling this one. Because <laughs> uh, I haven't put her on yet. I've had her for too long. Yeah, I'll take that one. Um, this one I is, thought it was about the same. yeah, so this, they're not this is exactly the same. This one has a little bit more curl to mm -hmm. it. Um, this is one of the ones that I got for Valentine's day that just didn't end up getting photographed, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I just want to tighten this strap. This is also a Bobby boss. You guys, I got a problem. Bobby boss. All right. So this one is going to be a middle part and it has those kind of face framing curtain bangs. Purple, not people. What? I felt like when I rinsed it, it just rinsed all the per people out and didn't own it. Um, yeah, it should. I mean, it rinsed. Uh, that's weird. I don't know. I got a lichen. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I've never had issues. What kind of, are you using 70% alcohol or 90% alcohol? That makes a big difference too on how much it tones. I've noticed that as well. Um, what was I doing? Okay, here we go. So this one has kind of those curtain bangs. And if you ever get a wig that has curtain bangs and you feel like the bangs are not like predominant or you can't see them, if you just grab them and then just lay them on the hair, sometimes they get like wrapped up in the curl, especially if it's a curly wig and you like don't know where they are. But if you do that, it instantly gives you more of that like defined curtain bang look and it pulls it out of your face. So this one is got these like red tips. Mine has no like button. Oh, you're not allowed to like anything, Lucky. Sorry. <laughs> um, it has like, goes down to this really gorgeous, like true, true vibrant red. And then it's like this darker red that has the same kind of highlighting of the bottom in it. I absolutely love the color. I feel like when I tighten the back strap, it leaves like two big gaps. I have to pray the wind doesn't blow the wrong way. Like two big gaps back here in the back or where? Because it might be a sizing issue. You might need to kind of resize. Um, I did a video on how to like cinch the wig cap um, if you need to, to make it a little bit smaller. Send me some pictures. That's always helpful. If you guys send me pictures on uh, my Instagram, JM Simons, or my business page on Facebook, Jesse M. Simons, um, it's a lot easier for me to see it. And then I can tell you exactly what's wrong. 
Uh, I've used both kinds. It was off brand. Maybe that's why. I mean, I just use like the Walmart brand alcohol. I don't feel like it should matter. I don't know. What are you doing, Kristen? It's weird. If it works for you not rinsing it, don't rinse oh, it. it. Yeah. I'm going to have to try it now. I uh, recently started wigs and found your channel. Thank you so much. I have 19 wigs and counting. Welcome to the club. <laughs> you're in good company. <laughs> We're in good company. And I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad I can help. This red one you said was Bobby Boss. Yes, this is Bobby Boss. Um, I got this one from Wabit as well. And like I said, you get 20% off if you use the code JM Simons, S-I-M-O-N-S, -S, um, at checkout. So, which is awesome that they gave that to me because 20% off and it's already like only a $40 wig. So that's crazy. Um, yes, in the back where you point to, right back here. Yeah, so the wig cap itself here is probably too big. So you're gonna wanna probably cinch your wig, but instead of, if you watch my video, um, I show you how to go this way, you're gonna wanna go this way to just get a little bit smaller from your ear to like your temple to temple measurement is probably just a little bit more petite. And that's why you're having that issue. That happens to me on some wigs that are just way too big because you can only overlap them so much. Um, let's see, I liked it, but don't ask me how I did it. Okay, I won't ask. Um, okay, awesome, Who I'm on it, love that one. Yeah, this one is so pretty and it comes in a couple it's different really colors bright. and I love just the curl pattern yeah, itself. It's really bouncy. And it's so bouncy and like lightweight and just, it's got, it's diva hair like instantly. You will be addicted, Mincy. Yes, you will be addicted. It's a problem. A newbie here. Awesome, Joy. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, sure. This is a human hair wig. Oh. Um, so this is one of the only human hair wigs. Didn't know. Um, I miss the deeds I was sharing. That red one is gorgeous. Yeah, that one is Waba. Kelly. Um, yeah, that's a Waba one. So pretty. Love it, love it, love it. They have a couple in like that red color. That pixie that I have is also, it's the same color as the top part. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is, have you ever ordered from Jesse's Wigs? I have not because um, they're really expensive. And I did reach out to them to kind of get a little bit more information about their brand because they have popped up. And I mean, it's called Jesse's Wigs. So I feel like I need to buy a wig from them, even though they spell their name wrong. Um, <laughs> but I, they're just very expensive. So I haven't gotten a chance to get one from them yet, but I know a couple people have and they've really liked it. So at Ange Wigs and Beauty Already M. Yeah, you're already addicted? Yep, that's what happens. Hi, Terry. Hello, hello. Um, so this is one of the few human, human hair wigs I have. I got it in as a, a sample to try out and I have straightened it because it came kind of weirdly curled. I think there's some of the best online site to buy wigs that are good. Um, Waba, I love Waba Hair Supply, W-A-B-A hairsupply.com. If you're new especially, they have a lot of really great wigs and they're really, really affordable. And you also, if you use my code JM Simons, S I M O N S, um, you also get 20% off. So you can get a couple wigs for, you get few wigs for under $100 and really try them out. And they are all amazing quality. So, and nothing is like more than $50. And then also, I love Nell's wigs. She's gonna be um, on Facebook. She has a website, it's just Nell's, N E L S wigs.com. Absolutely love her wigs. I have a couple I'll show you. I'm going to show you Lyrical, which is restocking tomorrow. And then I have a couple that I really love. I love Emo Wigs. That's a Facebook um, and Instagram. Lots and lots of options. I have, if you check out, um, Mimsy, if you go and type in out of the box on my channel, a bunch of videos will pop up. And there are literally videos where I show you specific brands in each video. And I just do something. I do a tutorial on it so you'll learn something too while you watch it. But that way you can really see the wigs in action. Um, is your light on in the back? It is. It's just the glare. So I have a, um, you know, our filming light right here. Oh, it's in the window. It's and it's glaring in the window. So you can't see my light. It's weird, right? <laughs> leveled up, LOL. Barbara Miller, you have leveled. I shared, I shared. I'm getting so smart. Awesome. <laughs> Love it. Uh, nice right now. I'm spending over a hundred each. Yeah. So that's the thing. It's like, if you really want to try out some different colors, some different styles, some different lengths, bangs, if you want to get a little crazy and adventurous, Waba is definitely a great place to go because you're not going to spend a ton of money doing that. I'll check it out later. Thank you. You're welcome. I like the light. Thank you. Yeah. It's like, it, it looks cute when it's, and also the window's not helping. There's a lot of things going on. Um, so like I was saying, <laughs> I get distracted, uh, by wigs. This is one of the, one of the only, 
one of the very few, I think I have like yeah. three human hair wigs total. And I haven't even cut the lace on this one yet because I'm still deciding what I want to do with it. Because like it just wasn't an amazing dye job. So I think I might like actually add highlights and stuff to it. Like I used to do my own hair. Look at that. Um, and I want to like, the knots are really nice, but I think I want, might want to try to bleach the knots and do some fun stuff with it. I shaved my head last night to make wigs look better. Thanks for the courage. Awesome. I love that. Um, it also, so, it is so much easier <laughs> when you wear wigs. And if you're suffering from hair loss, like it's not everyone's cup of tea. Not everyone needs to shave their head. But for me personally, it just made me feel like I was more in control of my hair loss. So I just shaved it off. And I was like, I'm wearing wigs and it's totally fine. So who cares? Like no one knows. And I rock my bald head sometimes too. Yeah. Um, and my mom actually made a comment. She's like, every time I see you that your hair, like the, you're shaving it shorter and shorter. Cause I started out and I was very, very self-conscious about cutting it. And so I still had like, I was using like a two guard or a three guard. So I still had a decent amount of hair, but you could really still see like the patches. And then I slowly was like, you know, I'm gonna get shorter and shorter. And I've gotten like, down to, I think I'm using a half guard. I'm using the last guard I can use before I go completely like, you know, Mr. Clean Head. So, um, but it works for me. And like, I don't think I'll ever have long hair again, even if I could, because it's just so much easier. I shaved my head two years ago. I love it. Yes. I just got my three weeks from Amazon. I didn't know what I am. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh no. Um, if you need any help, once you get them, if you're having any issues, you can always send me pictures. I can always help you guys. Um, I really, I, I like doing that. I was looking like Benjamin Franklin. Oh no. <laughs> I have lupus, so my hair is thinning. So I shaved it. It's empowering. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of how I felt. And that's kind of like how I took it too. It was just, I, I felt empowered and I felt like I took the control back, which some of us just need that. Jesse, I did love your cotton candy loom when you colored it. Yeah, my hair, it, I had actually let it grow out and it got to be out here. I was taking vitamins. I, that's right. I was taking tons of vitamins. Stanley was giving me like head massages every day. And I was t doing all these like shampoos and special things. And my hair grew back in pretty decent. Yeah. And I made the mistake of letting someone dye it. And it looked like cotton candy. <laughs> and I shaved it all off. And I was like, no, nope, it's gone. I was like, good thing is I could shave it off and maybe start over again. And I decided I wasn't going to start over again. I just keep it shaved. So, but yeah, it was a moment that that caught purple that and pink hair. Beginning. It was, yeah. It was, it was when I first had shaved it and then I started letting it grow out. Yeah. Because I was hoping shaving it once it would grow back in healthier. And it did with all of those things I was doing. But that was unrealistic for me to be able to do. Like, yeah. my I love my husband. But he's not going to give me two head massages every day for the rest of my life. Um, and I'm not going to be using all of this stuff every single day, twice a day on my head. And it was just too much. It was too much. And some of that works for people. I am a low-maintenance person. And that was way too much maintenance. So I can't do it. Uh, no one knows at first just wing it on cheap wigs until you learn exactly yeah. yeah just try it out sometimes you need to just try out things trial and error is great but I do always recommend trying to do it as cheap as possible because I don't want you to waste a ton of money trying to figure out what wigs work for you um but yeah so I'll cut this one on for you guys this is a 360 wig so it does have the um lace in the back that you can actually um glue down so I could actually install this wig for multiple days if I wanted to so there's like just things I have that's why I haven't cut the lace on yet because I haven't decided what I want to do with it. And it's definitely with this one, it's one that I would have to like install and glue down because it does have like more of that like glue down type installation cap. So it wouldn't be just like something I could just throw on my head and go about my business. But I think it's cute. I think it has potential and it's super soft. Like, did you feel it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it, it's very, it's nice quality hair. It's just, I don't know why they dyed it like this. <laughs> it's, they didn't want to bring it all the way up. I think they were worried they were going to bleed through. But I'm going to go through and I think I'm just going to either dye it all dark or do something to it. I have to run and go clean the kitchen and do laundry. Bye. 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 Um, did you have any other ones you wanted to show me? Um, well, there's a lot. Oh, let me grab Lyrical. I'm yeah, I know you wanted to do a couple requests. I think Lyrical is downstairs. I think she's the one that's hanging on the coat rack. Okay. I'll be back. I am a coat rack slash wig rack downstairs. Your mom's hair is gorgeous. I know. My whole family has amazing hair. Amazing hair. And I got my Nana's hair, which was very thin to start with and not that great. I went into hair loss in kind of a bad situation already. But yeah, my mom has beautiful hair. My sister 
has hair like down to her butt and it's like curly and it's so thick. It's like literally 150% density, I think. Her hair is insanely <laughs> thick, <laughs> which I don't think hair. is possible for people, but her hair is definitely, it's like one of the, it's like the hair that keeps on giving. Ashley's hair is crazy. Yeah. It, I ruined $140 wig today cutting the lace. Oh no! It might be able to be fixed. Send me pictures. I probably can help you. Sometimes you can fix it. So glad I found you again. I'm glad you found me too. Um, but yeah, sometimes you can fix it. Yeah, I want to help. Send me pictures. <laughs> I'm like, no. Um, so this is Lyra Cole, which Kristen wanted to see, but she just left. So Oh, no. I'll send her pictures, so that's okay. Um, so this one is going to be restocking tomorrow, I believe. Um, that is what um, Nell's said. It's from Nell's Wigs. This wig... I love this wig so much. Um, Nell actually gave me this wig for my birthday because I told her I was so obsessed with it mm. and that I wasn't mailing it back to her. So <laughs> never a loss wear a jeans band. Oh, yeah. You could you can make it into a headband wig, too. Definitely. Are you sure it's for I know, right? We're all like, we can help you fix it. Ah, <laughs> like someone can help you. I'll send you some pics. Yeah, send me pictures. I want to see because we can we can figure something out. I know. I'm like, no, no, no. Um, so this one is absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this wig. I, if I was going to be buried, but I want to be cremated. If I was going to be buried, I'd probably want you to bury me in this wig. I mean, yeah, I'll wear it and they can cremate it. Yo, it's going to like melt though. Like, melt it in. So are you. So Yeah, that's not really, I don't know. It might be kind of weird. <laughs> pull out. You might accidentally spill my ashes over and just wig hair. It's just like. That's appropriate, actually. That's kind of my life. Wig hair is everywhere. Um, so that does make sense, actually. I love that one. Yeah, this one is just one freaking right amazing. It is such a good blonde. It's pretty. It's like an ashy blonde. I know a lot of people in my pictures, we did this wig in Wigs in the Wild. So if you go over to my Instagram, you can see there's a video, um, a reel there. You can see it moving around. There's also photos. And a lot of people asked if it was gray. And it's not gray. It just has a really pretty, like, ash tone to it. So it kind of in lighting, especially when you take pictures, can give off a little bit of like a grayish blonde. But it really isn't a gray. It's, it's really just a pretty blonde. And then it has these really gorgeous kind of like highlighted blonde pieces. Oh, so good. I love it. I'm just going to give her a moment. I'm obsessed with this thing. <laughs> I love it. This is when I put it on. I was like, oh, my God, I need this thing in my life. So she's like, it's yours. Happy birthday. I was like, oh, I love you. <laughs> I needed it. Um, love that one. Hi, I just started using wigs because of hair loss. I finally just stopped trying to hide it and been terribly sad. So I bought my first about seven months ago. It's part of me. It's mine. Yes. Yeah. It's my hair. I bought it. Right. So people always say to me, like, they're always like, uh, Stanley always looks at me like, are you going to tell them it's a wig? I'm like, no, it's my hair. They don't need to know. I paid for it. I, it belongs to me. Oh yeah. I love that one too. So that's a good one. This is called Hans Solo. <laughs> yes yeah. she uh this is from rebel gypsy and if you guys have shopped with rebel gypsy she loves to name her wigs just all sorts of crazy fun stuff i think they're all named after like song lyrics um in some way shape or form i think that's what it is i can't really remember any of them but this one i remember because it's you know han solo it's kind of easy and i love this this is such a good throw on and go blonde so oh, it is a left side part and it's got this really nice kind of ashy root to it and then it's just this really gorgeous gorgeous platinum blonde so love it love it love it they are song lyrics thank you terry that's what i thought they're like song lyrics but han solo that's a song lyric yeah under, that's fine i can remember that one you want the other one no no i like that one plus i think the other one sold out this one's in stock still so. um this is a braid wig which i is a new thing that i've been kind of looking into because i really think they're super cute and i think i'm gonna love them for the summer and I love these like Dutch braids because I like never could do this with my hair. My sister always had gorgeous like fishtail braids and all this stuff in her hair and I could never have any of it. So my hair would slip right out because it was too fine and too thin. So I was deprived as a child and now I'm living my braid life as an adult. I want that braid one. I know it's all good. That's cute. Andy, you need to watch Jessie's videos. I learned so much from her. Thank you. Yeah, I have a lot, a lot of videos. If you are new to wig wearing or you need help with anything, altering, resizing, all that stuff. If you thought about doing it to a synthetic wig, I probably tried it. And if I successfully did it, there's a video. And if you don't see a video, it's probably because I failed at it and I have to try again. So, or I'm not quite there yet. But this one is absolutely cute. 
I love this one. This one, I, the only thing with this one is I do wish the braids like came down more, but I do like like the curl pattern that they put here, but I would like it. Like I kind of braided it down further to see what it looked like. And I did like it, like if it was fully braided, which I do have another one that's more fully braided, which I like. I but have that one, but it's like I love that in the part, this one has this braid going all the way mm -hmm. down. Because mm -hmm. I just think that that also helps hide the um, the dots and the stuff from the um, lace and the knots because it is a black rooted wig. So I totally get the reasoning for that. And then it also comes in like blonde, tons of other colors. This one is from... Um, Elevate.com, and it is a Cloud 9 Swiss Lace Wig. Sensational is the brand. So it's uh, Sensational Cloud Nine, not Cloud 9, Sensational Cloud 9 Dutch Braid Wig. If you type that in Google, it's a lot. It's going to pop up. <laughs> um, Jesse, you have my P.O. Box here in Tennessee. Just go ahead and forward it on. You know you want to. Ha, ha, ha. Go get it. It was like, I think this was like 45 bucks, I think is what I spent on it. It was not that expensive. Um, and it's just really well made. It's very, very cute. And I actually like all the baby hairs. It makes it look like your hair is actually braided. Because you start to get like, you know, those little wispies and stuff when you braid your hair. Sure. <clears throat> so this is a wig that I got on AliExpress. It is a dupe of one of my absolute favorite wigs. That I think everyone, if you are a new wig wearer and you don't know what wig to get... This color is like the best color for anybody. It is in a little style. I like to put it in a little, little cute little updo, um, which also is something you can do. This is a T-part wig and I still can put it up in a cute little um, updo. So don't think that you can't do this kind of stuff just because you don't have the lace space. You definitely can. It's just all about pulling up the right hair in the right spot to kind of hide the wefting and it will look great. And this one is like, I call this a chameleon wig because on every one, it looks different, but it always looks amazing. And it's just such a good neutral color. How do you know who to trust if you buy a wig online? Um, I take a lot of that guesswork out for you guys. Um, if you go and search out of the box on my channel, you'll see a lot of videos of brands that I have tried, that I like, that I kind of stand behind and say this is a good brand to kind of, you know, buy a wig from. So that also helps. Um, and if there are any other brands out there you guys are unsure of, if you send me a link, I'm all about going and checking them out and like ordering something from them to see if I get it or not. So let me know if there's something, if there's a specific brand, but a lot of it is, you know, I'm in a lot of hair loss support groups and wig groups and things like that. And a lot of people will post in their brands that are coming out and things like that, that you really, um, check those places out because they're going to have a lot of those resources for you. But I definitely have a good list of wig sellers that I really trust and like and would send you guys to and be totally fine with. Um, yeah, I love this one. Oh my gosh, just realized that you were still live. I thought I was watching the replay. <laughs> so happy to have made it. Yes, no, you're here in real life, real time with us. But yeah, so this one here, AliExpress, $34. And I think everyone should have this wig. It's so easy to take care of. It's so lightweight and it's just a really good beginner wig. Sure. This is my namesake from Nell's Wigs. So this wig is called Jesse. <laughs> um, all my wigs are from Alex Beauty. So I definitely decided to watch recommendations. Oh yeah. Um, candy lover, right? Yeah. I don't actually buy wigs from her. I had a bad experience when I first started wearing wigs that kind of traumatized me a little. And I decided I wasn't going to purchase wigs from her anymore. But she does have some nice ones. It's just I did not. I got rubbed the wrong way. And I just. I couldn't let it go. So. <laughs> I love that one. Have you bought any from Ugate? I have not. You need your own line. <laughs> so I love wigs. And I will, I'm always down to do like collabs and design wigs and stuff like that with other companies. But I don't think I will ever sell wigs myself. Because I've experienced the other side of wig selling and from my previous job and all of that. And it's just not something that I think I want to be part of. I really like being in Switzerland and being able to say, this is a place you can come no matter what wigs you wear. And I don't have to be exclusive, even if it's exclusive to like my own wigs. I don't want to do that. Um, it closes a lot of doors and opportunities for you too, when you kind of decide to become a seller of wigs. 
Um, I do buy from Diva Trust a lot because you get points and nice sounds. Yes, I love that. And Waba also gives you points and you earn them really fast and you get like $5, $10, all this off and you can use it. So um, a lot of these wig companies now have really good rewards programs, which is awesome. So definitely look into that too. And I bought a couple wigs from Diva Trust. It's a good brand as well, or a good website for all the ones I'm showing you. Wa um, Bobby Boss, um, Sensational, Outre, all those guys. Um, Diva Trust is another good brand too. The Jesse should be available again later this month at Nell's. Yes, I love this one. Cheap wig queen, me, me, me. I'm the same way. I'm just like, I want to get the most bang for my buck. You know, that's kind of just how I feel. Um, but this is, so this is from Nell's Wigs. It does have this extra um, lace space. Not cheap, joy, frugal. Exactly. That's what I say all the time. Like resourceful smart, and smart. frugal. Shop smarter, not harder, right? Mm -hmm. This one is such, oh, I love the color of this one, damn. This one and Lyrical, I love them both. Um... <laughs> This one is just a really, really pretty, almost like dirty blonde. It actually is very close to what my natural hair color mm, it is. is. Um, this back part here is very, very close to my natural hair color. And then it has these really pretty kind of brighter money pieces. Super um, lightweight, but just a really nice kind of, it's like more of like that natural blowout curl. So it's realistic. It's not like crazy curly. And it just looks really nice even as you wear it throughout the day. It just, it's really, really pretty. It's very flattering. Um, and this one will be back in stock. I placed my first order with Nels today. Awesome. I love that. The most I paid ever is $60. I mean, I've paid a lot more for a wig, but I have a lot of wigs that are under $60 that I like more than the ones I've paid more than $60 for sometimes. So it's all about what you like, I think. I think there's different like tiers and different things that you need based on, um, you know, each person and each brand is gonna be able to give you different things. So, um, this is a fun one. I got this one from a wig sister as well as a trade. This is main concept. This is another Valentine's day wig. And one thing I really love about this is it actually is more of like a natural. I know that sounds weird saying a natural pink, but because they put this Brown and brunette in it, are there codes for Nels for you? Um, she, I, she is revamping her, um, codes and all that. So like that, if you do buy from her in the um, order notes, if you put JM Simons or put Jesse sent me or anything like that, greatly appreciated. That way she knows that you guys came from me. If not, um, it's totally fine too. But she is going to be working on kind of revamping her code system or like that. She is already so much cheaper than all of the wig sellers in like her tier and bracket of wigs and her wig quality is so amazing so she really just doesn't offer a whole lot of discounts because she's already just such a good price you be question what does money pieces mean um it means when you have just right in the front you just have the pieces of a different color they're called money pieces right in the front so i call like the ones that have a little bit more underneath the hair i'll say like peekaboo money pieces because they pop out and you, they peekaboo out of the hair but if they're just strictly just money pieces it's just gonna be right here in the front you going to list all the names for us, Jesse? I will try. I will try. When I get off of here, I will try to put them all in the comments. Um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, this one, like I said, so because it has all like the, I always like a color that has a natural root because then I feel like it makes it just look a little bit more believable and like realistic. Like I could actually dye my hair like this or maybe mm -hmm. I just added some hair extensions, right. but maybe it's not necessarily a wig. And this one has such a good like hairline and then it has those curtain bangs. Clearly I have a problem with curtain bangs. I love them too. I just like the way that like when they frame your face, I just think it makes, makes it look so much nicer. I don't know. The back is good. Yeah. And I'll show you guys the back because I'm just that extra. <laughs> um, this one. Yeah. It's just so pretty in the back. It layers really gorgeously. And I like how the brunette kind of stops. And then you get that pink underneath. So this one is a really cute. This is main concept. Is lyrical one you can pull to the side for cyber? Yes. You can side part her because she is long and she's curly. Any wigs that are like honestly below your shoulders, especially if they're curly, you can shift from side to side if it's a T-part and you, no one's going to ever notice. No. Mm -mm. Um, okay. Are there any requests? We're, we're almost to an hour. So are there any requests you guys have specifically? Like is there a color that you want to see? straight curly anything like that let me know and we can grab a couple because she's done a pretty good job grabbing yeah um yeah let me know if there's anything you guys want to specifically see and i can show you 
yeah, I love curtain bangs. I just like the way they frame my face. And like face framing layers, I've always done that with my own hair. Like my whole life, I've always asked them to like put face framing layers in the front. So I think that's kind of what Did you want to show me other I do. I can, long and curly. Ooh, I shouldn't. Oh, we cut things around. Look at this one. This is a fun one. This is, this is long and curly, but probably not what you were asking for. <laughs> do you have a favorite retailer or burgundy wig? I do have a burgundy wig. I can show you a couple of them, but I have one that I really, really like. It's from Rebel Gypsy. Is it this first one? Yeah. Um, no, no. Up, up and over. Right there, yeah. So this one, I just got this from a, a Wig Pride, which is a new uh, wig seller. I mean, I don't know, not new, but new to me. Someone suggested this company. Sure. So I saw this wig and I always am looking for like a navy blue, but everything is always super blue. And this one has like salt and peppering of actual like mm -hmm. dark, I don't know if it's black or really dark blue, but it gives it the perfect like navy blue color. This one also, because you know, it's just crazy hair, you can move it however you want, but it is a middle part, but I'm obsessed with this one. It is a lot of hair, but it's super lightweight and the color is amazing. I love that wig. Yes, it's so good. Yeah, it's like a denim blue. Hey, mom, you should try on some wigs. <laughs> have you ever worn a short curly wig? I have. Uh, let me have the burgundy one real quick. Okay, so this one is from Rebel Gypsy. I really love this wig. Um, she has this one in several different colors, but this burgundy itself, this is a 360, so it has like the baby hairs in the back. So if you see this and you're alarmed, it's because it's meant to, so you can wear it up if you want. And I just love the color and I love that it is a free part so I can move it however I want. And I feel like with this curl pattern and style, it's kind of more of like a, like you do the little, you know, hair, you don't actually put a part in it. So it is just really, really pretty. pretty, And it's a great color. Yeah, the color is beautiful on that yeah, one. Yeah, I love the color on this one. It's so good. I have one that's a little bit more red burgundy. And I do have like a burgundy bang, but this one is really, really good. I really like the color of this one. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, I love that. I love curly long and sh or short. Curly long, this is pretty nice. Yeah, okay. Um, curly short. I really have a lot of long curly, but not curly really um, short. Isn't that funny? Uh, well, that was short or medium? Maybe this is short. Not. I think the only curly short one I have is that ugly one. No, <laughs> She's like, no, you're not putting that on your head. That's not <laughs> I always wonder why there are little hairs in the back. Yeah, so um, if they have little hairs, it's so that you can put it up and you would just see like little baby hairs and not like the, the cap itself. Are you going to list where you buy wigs for us? I can, absolutely. Um, but like I said, it's me, wabahairsupply.com. Love, love, love them. Code 20% off, JM Simons. I also love... Um, Nell's wigs, emo wigs for everyone, uh, Savage Road Crown, Sassy Misfits. There's a lot of really, oh Lord. Oh, Not again. No. All right. We're back. Sorry. See, this is what I'm saying. Um, orientation lock. Hang on. We're going to go sideways. Um, yeah, I can do that one. This is pretty. Why is it lock? Lock. Please stand by. Orientation locked. Rose tape device back. There we go. Okay. Well, that's weird. Oh, no. Not the camera. I know. Um, can you do a quick demo of the last one put up? Would like to see how it looks short hairs. Um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do a short for you on that just because my phone is freaking out on me and I have to hold it. So we might have to end this here. I think it's actually, is it going to say? Um, but yeah, I can do a short showing how to put it up and everything. This is a short curly one. I just want to throw this on for you guys real quick. And then we're probably going to cut this. We're at like an hour. So that's good. It's about what we usually do. So this one here is probably the only short curly one I have, I think. And I really love this one. It's so fun. And I like to take like a little cute little clip and just kind of side clip it up to get it out of my face. But I like to wear this one to work because I can actually wear it down because I work in a restaurant. So I really like this one. This one's super cute. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, but yeah, so, um, I don't know, I think that's it. I can it's go ahead, I'll hold it, no. Um, I can go ahead and make a short, I will do that, um, and I'll put that up tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that, and I'll show you guys how to put up a wig um, that has like those baby hairs in the back, just so you guys know how to do that. Um, 
and let me know if you're replaying this if there's anything you guys want to see I'm always looking for shorts ideas if it's something that I can show you under a minute because it has to be under a minute <laughs> but I can do things like that so definitely let me know if you guys are watching this and I will do my best to try to get you guys a list of like all of the companies that I love to use and if I have a code I'll share that with you guys too so you can use the code and yeah thanks mom for hanging out I want to say thank you for hanging out my pleasure yeah I love that one Christina it's so cute the short one yeah, thank you guys. Um, I hope you guys have a great night. I know it's getting late for my East Coasters. My mom is probably getting tired because she's still on East Coast time. Yep. <laughs> and we have to prepare for more snow. Yay. So, so exciting. But um, I will let you guys go. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you, Jess and mom and Stanley. Stanley was here, but not here. So he's doing dad stuff, which enables me to do this stuff. So it also helps. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a great night. Good night. And keep an eye out for shorts. Bye guys. I don't know how to end it.